I would start by introducing myself. My name is John Wesley Kabango. I'm a, a pastor uh, originally from the Anglican Church of Rwanda. And uh, currently, in the last 10 years, I've been working as the executive secretary for the United Evangelical Mission in Germany, of which the HKBP is uh, one of the 39 members and the largest members, the biggest members of the UEM. And uh, coming back to the question you raised, the way I see this program, it is just an amazing program. It is a God-inspired program. God-inspired in a way that uh, it is really uh, positively surprising that there are 12. Yeah. 12 young missionaries who yes, have been yes, selected uh, we are theologians, we are graduates from theological seminaries of the HKBP, and we are being sent uh, in the framework of 125 years of, of the celebration of the HKBP, we are sent, uh, as we are sent as missionaries yes. to the Africa region. And uh, to the members of the Africa, the UEM, Botswana, the Evangelical Church Church of Botswana, the ELCT Evangelical Lutheran Church of Tanzania, four dioceses, Eastern Coastal Diocese, the Northern, the Northern Eastern uh, Diocese, um, the Northwest Diocese, and the Caragua Diocese. And in to Rwanda, the, the Presbyterian Church of Rwanda and the Anglican Church of Rwanda. For me, as a UEM co worker, I see this as a gift given by the HKBP, yes, a missionary gift given to the members of UEM and uh, not only selected because of their competences but they were going to implement the philosophy of the uh, UEM holistic mission of work proclaiming the good news yes. of Jesus Christ on one hand on the other hand demonstrating the good news of Jesus Christ through the social work in the church activities, they will be joining, uh, supported by UEM and supported by the members of UEM. For me, this is a witness of uh, the HKBP uh, giving a powerful testimonies to the UEM as a, as, a, as a large in the free continent. Uh, in this, I wanted to underline one aspect of participation and ownership. It means not only to send people who have been trained by the HKBP for many years, but also it means to support them through uh, prayers. Mm -hmm. I'm learning that now the HKBP has uh, uh, developed a vision. The efforts uh, was guided to bring the people to start a prayer groups, yeah. which are going to support not only these people, but uh, the, the missionaries, but also to support the the, uh, the the HKBP work as a, uh, as a large, and uh, we really uh, like a, a well-established uh, church. We thank God for the vision which has been developed, and we look forward to what uh, will be the achievement yeah. in the coming years. Yes. Mm, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, but, you know, this is so so clear for us, uh, and I will give you the second question. As a pastor, Reverend John, as a pastor, and as an African, specifically, what do you uh, 
what do you how to say expect from 12 missionaries that HKBP will be sent to Africa? Yeah, thank you, uh, Reverend Chiu. I think what we are expecting, we have been discussing with them today and oh, yeah. uh, in the past, yeah. that uh, they, I, it is amazing how the, uh, the young missionaries, 12 missionaries from HKBP, are being pre prepared uh, the 12 are prepared like uh, Jesus uh, disciples were prepared yeah, yeah. to bring the gospel to the people in need but also to provide healing where needed physical healing but also spiritual need healing particularly the spiritual healing is needed in the younger generations worldwide it is not only in, uh, in Indonesia not in Africa but Africa in this perspective will gain a lot from the younger people who are being sent to see them interacting with other young people, to see how they're committed to work for God. And definitely this is going to be uh, a very good, uh, uh, to give a good outcome. And uh, we were discussing about uh, how to implement the integral mission and the, uh, the holistic mission. So we were inspired by prophets who have been said it. Uh, we, we, we reflected on Micah, uh, my, uh, Prophet Micah, uh, chapter 6, verse 8. And uh, where uh, we were responding to the question, what does the Lord require of you? What does the Lord require of you is to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. And the young were saying, no, we are prepared for that and we have been prepared for that in uh, acknowledgement of the good leadership of the HKBP in, the, uh, in promoting the gospel in African members. One last thing is, they were a bit scared to go to Africa. Reverend <laughs> <laughs> John, uh, as a real African, mm. and the 12 missionaries will be sent to Africa. Mm -hmm. What do you advise or some tips to these 12 missionaries, mm -hmm. please? Thank you very much, Reverend Tio. <coughs> Dear Air Force Dr. Robinson, uh, colleagues, I think this is a very, very obvious question. We are sent to the UEM members, coming from a UEM member. Of course, together, the 39 members, they have, um, each has her own of living. Okay. But they have a lot of in common as a UEM. That's why we call it a, an international a communion of churches in Africa, Asia, and Germany. But going back to the question of uh, where we are going to. Uh, they will be received by sisters and brothers in Christ okay. who share the same vision of the proclamation of the gospel and the demonstration of the gospel. Of course, each country we are going to went through a specific history. Okay. I would particularly focus on Rwanda, which uh, is coming this year, 30 years, we are celebrating 30 years of the, of the genocide against the Tutsi in Rwanda. But when you are there, you see people coming together, you see people oh. singing, you see people being together in the same church. Our Air Force can uh, witness this because he says he saw it. So you may hear that there have been happening war, a, war, a, a genocide in Rwanda, and people may be scared to go. Uh, feeling that it is dangerous to go to this place. But yeah. when they are there, they will not even notice okay. that uh, uh, the country went through a certain difficulty. A general problem in, uh, in, the, in the three countries and in Africa, people are saying about uh, poverty. But poverty is, is different at, the, at different levels. Because the two other countries, even the three countries, they are now uh, each is really working hard to, to
to fight their way from poverty and moving for, to middle income countries. Okay. Botswana and Tanzania, they are really almost there. Of course, there are still uh, individual cases of poverty, but this is where we see the churches, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Botswana, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in, 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 in Tanzania, and uh, the Presbyterian Church and the Anglican Church in Rwanda, uh, focusing on uh, uh, supporting the poorest of the poor, working with the poorest of the poor and helping them. And most importantly, and I take this as a lesson which I will spread to the whole African members. The Hakabebe, Hakabebe is a church committed to prayer. We are now at a place where meditation will be run, will be running. And prayer, a spiritual life, for some African churches, it was almost forgotten yeah. or going low, going low down. So I think this is going to change. People have really to revive the church, to revive the spiritual life, uh, to revive the, the way of, of worship and, uh, and, and praying. Many are, are starting to come that way, but they will be strengthened by the energy, the new energy coming from the Haka Pepe sent by missionaries. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you much. Thank you very much, Reverend John. So, for 12 missionaries, we have to get an explanation from Reverend John. And we believe, we trust, you do not need to be afraid about your mission that you will be given to you uh, from God by Haka But But, uh, with us here, Opwe Eporus AKBP, Pendeta Dr. Robinson Butar Butar. Of course, we love to hear some advices from Opung mm. to these 12 missionaries. Mm. Opung, please Opung, give some advices to strengthen the 12 missionaries. Yeah, thank you for this question. You know, I remember once, I think it was in the year, uh, 2008, when I had a talk with our Everus Jubil Raplap Kutauru. Yeah. At that time, he assigned me to work for UM, which would force me to go to African countries, including oh. Congo and Rwanda. Yeah. <laughs> I said to him, Opo, it is too hard for me. <laughs> I should resign, I should go home. <laughs> but he said, you know, Dr. Butar Butar, do you remember in the past, no man said was going to Tana Batak? Yes, I do. Were they not afraid? Yeah. They were. Did they eventually come? They did. Did their work bring good fruit? They did. So, you should not question, you should go. <laughs> Don't be afraid. That's <laughs> correct. <laughs> and then Ebru said, Don't worry, we will pray for you. Mm. The same I should advise to these young missionaries, you know, from the Akabit They should not be afraid. Really. Mm. Yes. Instead, correct. they should rejoice. Mm. Because from all church workers of the Akabit almost 3,000, 12 are selected to go. They are the most privileged. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you know, we are building up prayerful groups mm -hmm. throughout the Arabic. They will be praying for this 12. Mm -hmm. One person who prays is listened to by the Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now more than, more than, you know, hundreds, hundreds of church members and elders yes. of the Arabic will be praying for you. So yeah. you go with confidence mm. that you will be taken care by our Lord and by our brothers and sisters there. Mm. And your work will produce a lot of fruits. Like what our Lord Jesus said, remain with me and you will bear a lot of fruit. Yes. That's Amen. the second one. Amen. The third one is be humble, continue to learn. Yeah. Don't be feeling that you are more important than others. 
but with the African friends, work together so that the doors of the hearts will be open mm. and many will know the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. If you ask me further, there are many, I would mm. say, but the three is important. Thank you. Very good. Thank you very much, Ephraim. Thank you. Thank you so much. much. God bless you. Thank you so much, Reverend John. Thank you.